reading so this is going to be a reading for my scorpios let's go ahead and get straight into it of course any information that you need will be in the description i will have my link tree link posted there in that same link i'll have my website listed there i'll have my astrology channel for my people who are into astrology and want to know what's going on with the personal planets in your chart or what astrological events are taking place definitely follow me over there as well my pick card channel all that jazz so just check that link out in the description but let's get straight into it scorpios let's see what's going on with you first card i have so we have knowledge okay so for a lot of you, you could be seeking higher education. This could be you considering whether or not you should go back to school to learn some sort of trade. This could be you trying to gain more information on a particular field that you're in, whether this is like trying to master your craft. If you're an entrepreneur, this could be trying to gain information on how you can make a, bu a business profitable, excuse me. Uh, overall, this is just you having a thirst for wanting to know more now this thirst to want to want to know more may not even have anything to do with education or anything like that this could be you just wanting to know more in regards to what's going on with a love interest who you haven't spoken to in a minute or wanting to know what's going on in terms of your person and, and where they want to take things within this relationship so you could be feeling like you're out of the know, like your person isn't making their feelings or their thoughts clear enough for you. And yeah, that could be something that you're interested in. I also have spiritual career here. And we have that 78 energy. Hmm. This will break down to... A 15 which is a 6 okay so some of you guys may be prone or interested let's use that word in pursuing some sort of spiritual career you may have gifts to read tarot you may be somebody who's clairaudient clairvoyant clairsentient all the clairs honey okay <laughs> um, but this is you being fearful of you not being worthy enough and that's not true if you've gone through life experiences then you're worthy enough if you have a gift to help or heal others then you're worthy enough and it's needing to get past self-confidence issues when it comes to putting yourself out there to help humanity and to help people around you especially if this is something that you feel drawn to here all right let's pull one more card scorpios what's the energy around them we have the death card in reverse and this is so funny in the regular tarot this would actually be your card but it's in reverse so there's something that's keeping you from your full transformation and you guys do i have to mention this have the south node in your sign so this is you guys having to release a lot of things that you may have kind of subscribe to in terms of your identity there's a lot of things that you've outgrown and there's a lot of karmic events that are going to take place that it's going to shift your first house and also your seventh house okay mm. interesting i want to go ahead and flip the camera and get more in depth because now we're getting into astrology and stuff um again any information you will be below and let's see what the cards have to say scorpios let's get into it okay let me get this card okay so we have the two of coins that fell let's keep going we have the tower and the ace of swords so right off the bat um with this two of pentacles with this tower energy this feels like even though some sort of relationship has fell apart and i'm talking to my people who recently just got out of a relationship i want to say like two weeks to two days like two days to two weeks ago okay with this two energy but um even though this relationship is going through a lot of fluctuations of like breakup to makeup uh, this person coming off as inconsistent some days wanting to put effort and energy into it, other days distancing themselves not being as engaged with you 
you still care about this person and you could be wanting to speak to this individual or again take this reading how it applies this person may want to speak to you even though they may not be actually speaking to you at the moment you're on their mind uh, they could be wondering what you have going on how are you holding up this person could be also extremely focused on their finances like trying to regulate their money uh looking at how money's flowing in and out they could also be in this process of like debating whether or not it's worth putting work into the relationship because there's pros and cons i'm also looking at this card as pros and cons so they're looking at the pros and cons trying to weigh out like hmm what is my best plan of action so that's why it could be taking them some time to reach out to you or say anything or why they may even seem a little bit dismissive because they may be confused they really don't know um i get this energy also it's like you guys have been in debate of some sort of financial decision here for a while and this could consist of like your living situation you could be up under like a really bad lease and the area where you may live in it's like maybe the environment isn't necessarily that comfortable for you or just the lease agreement that you may be in you may be feeling like oh it's not fair to you or for the amount of money that you're paying that you should be getting more uh, of an upgrade like i just see something with the living arrangement you also may have a roommate you guys may split the rent even or you want you guys to split split the uh rent evenly excuse me it may have originally supposed to it may have originally um, was supposed to be like a 50 50 situation or if you have like multiple roommates breaking it down to how many people are in there but you could be realizing that you're getting cheated out of your money more than everyone else that lives in the house because you could afford it or other people are kind of like missing out on their end of the rent so that could be kind of pissing you off and making you want to like look around and find new places let's keep going Okay, this card flew if I can get to it okay we have the Sun card so Leo energy realizations let's keep going temperance in the judgment card hmm A lot of you are stepping into happier times though like with the sun card right next to the temperance card this is like a dose of reality kind of kicking in and you guys seeing where you can have more success or more balance in certain arenas in your life and it could be you guys realizing that you need to get your emotional well-being in order in order for you to produce the best of yourself you realize when you're like out of out of touch with your emotions the more issues kind of manifest this is also because i'm i'm thinking about sagittarius energy or even jupiter in this sense and for some of you it could be substance abuse issues as well that could be a problem you could be noticing that you're drinking more not on purpose but you may be like a bartender and you drink a lot or you know after work you may get you a drink because it's your way of winding down but it could be pretty obsessed uh, or not obsessive but um excessive at this point hmm um i see some sort of court case actually going in your favor with the temperance card and the judgment card with you being patient and also being able to able to i cannot talk today able to temper your energy you're going to be able to have a victory in terms of this case going in your favor all right we have the five of cups as well as the page of wands 
Six of Cups, actually. Six of Wands. Hmm. There could be a heated discussion via you and the person you may have children with. I think I've been seeing this for a minute for you guys, though. That's the crazy part. There could be a heated discussion or, again, passive aggressiveness coming from either the person you have children with or you. Somebody here is doing it. This could be a fire sign, an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, really any zodiac sign, but they could be giving you a really, really hard time. If not a person who you have children with, again, this is somebody who you have invested time, energy, emotions into. You guys just may not be together right now. Um, and that could be sort of a conflict here. But I just get the energy of passive aggressiveness. Now, I do see you actually getting some sort of line of communication going. Eventually with this fire sign. But you may realize that this person just may want attention. Like they may not have true intentions for why they're even coming around. So that's something to be aware of, especially with this Venus retrograde. But I'm going to end the reading here. If you want a February 2022 forecast to see how February is going to play out for you, check out the information below and I'll see you later.